Are you ready? Ready. All right, let's go. Kevin here, top one financial advisor. And best-selling author. We are here to talk about the stock market. All right, we have some big news today, and that is First Citizens Bank has purchased a good chunk of SBV, Silicon Valley Bank, making First Citizens Bank one of the largest regional banks in the country. They're actually headquartered in Raleigh, which is right down the street. Never knew that. So that was a little bit of news and fun fact for me. The reason why this is on our radar, it's really a few reasons. Number one, the stock was up 54% at one point today, which is great for them. And then the fact that the SBV saga has now been resolved. The question is, is this time for us to invest in bank stocks? And does this mean that this entire banking crisis is over? The question to the second one is no. And in fact, it might be no for both questions in that I'm not necessarily excited or sure that investing in First Citizens Bank is the best move. Yes, it was up today. There's no guarantee it was going to be up tomorrow. But also you're chasing at this point, if that's you. There are a lot of new, new investors that say, oh, look, you know, it's up 54%. I can get in now and double my money tomorrow. Now, there's a chance of that. But the question is, did you have enough time to research it? Do you really know what it means when banks acquire other banks? What regulations are they going to have to do, uh, deal with? What is the Fed going to do? Could they be the next bank to fall? You don't know. I don't think that they will be. The interesting thing about that, that deal is that they didn't buy all of the assets that SBV had. And when we talk about assets for a bank, we're talking about their loans, right? That's, that's the asset to a bank. They make money off of loans. And First Citizen said, ah, I'll take these, but you can keep those. We don't want those, which is very interesting. That, that tells us that SBV probably wasn't operating in a way that was... I don't know, conducive of a healthy bank and business. So it was just interesting that, that that came out and that they decided to leave some of that stuff on the table and not take on that additional risk. But I think on, on its face, it's probably a good move. I think it is a good move for first citizens. So that is something that you do want to do. I uh, You want to read into it, research, and see whether or not it makes a good fit for you. But I'm still not excited for investing in the bank sector as a whole because very rarely do these big international issues resolve itself within two weeks. We heard, not just here in the US, right? we had our own issues here, but we just talked about Deutsche Bank on Friday. Is that crisis resolved? I don't know. And neither do, do you at this point in time. Um, we, we heard about UBS and, and Credit Suisse. Is that over? I don't know. And that's just two countries, two banks, three, three banks total, UBS, Credit Suisse, and Deutsche Bank, all within, again, the last two weeks in two separate countries. What's next? Right, what happens in in Paris? What happens in London? What happens in China? I we do we do not know, right? We do not know, and I would rather have a lot more information to go off of before I say if this is it, the market is going to be great, and especially the banking sector is going to be great. I would be very cautious of going head over heels in that direction. And you do what you want to do, okay? You do what you want to do. That's your money. I'm just saying from somebody who has, who has observed these things and researched these things is not necessarily something that I would be excited to jump into. So do be very careful there. I see a lot of investors get trapped into the thought of, hey, this stock was at 20, 30, 40% a day. I can take my money, put it in, make 50% and get out and just become a super day trader. What we have learned, right? We saw this with First Republic Bank, which is different. We've seen that stock take off and it absolutely fall by 20 or 30% the very next day. That has happened, and I don't know whether or not it's gonna to happen tomorrow, but it is a risk. So I want you to be very careful of that and continue just taking notes and watching and seeing what starts to play out. In the next few days, once we finish out Q1, that means January, February, and the end of March, we'll kind of do, a, I guess, a quarterly review of what's working in the market, what's not working, and what patterns have already emerged. Because it's been a jumble of, the, of a year. Yes, the market is up, which is great, Banking has been rough, right? Tech has started to take off. We talked about Tesla a while back and others, but tech, NVIDIA included, which we did talk about, has done quite well. So I think it's around the time that we want to sit down and kind of reshuffle our expectations and kind of reshuffle the board in terms of what's working, what's not working, what do we expect for the rest of the year. This is one of those learning opportunities and it's really one of those patient opportunities. And patience is not something that investors talk enough about. Okay, I think a lot of people just, just move and react and look at a headline and trade and do a whole lot of stuff where patience is the, the, one of the key exercises that you want to take a look at. Say, hey, look, let me view what's going on. Let me take my time to research and see if any bank is worth me buying for the long term as opposed to trying to shorten things, be impatient, and jump in and out of stocks 
just because it was green today. So you want to be very careful of that. All right. Now tomorrow, um, not tomorrow, but at the end of this month, we are going to go into April, which is personal finance month. And we have decided y'all have decided that we are going to do a book club for the intelligent investor. So, oh man, my book is somebody messed up my book cover. I like nice clean books and now it's all wrinkled. I'm sad. Um, anyway, we're going to do a book club. We're going to take this. Uh, I, I know it's thick. Now mine has additional commentary. Um, and it's a revised edition. So mine might be a little bigger than others. Don't be intimidated though. We're going to break this down and do a few pages or even a few chapters at a time. And we're going to have a book club and break it down and explain it in terms that are simple. So if you have not gotten your copy already, go to the library, go to Amazon, go wherever it is you, you like to get books, do an audio book if, if that works for you as well. And we're going to knock it out and do section by section and talk about it. Um, I don't know yet. And if y'all have suggestions, let me know. Maybe we can do like a, I don't know if it's going to be a, sort of like a group chat or like a Saturday video type of thing. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But this is the time to get your copy because of shipping, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to do a book club. We're going to break it down and do like a series of videos. So make sure that you get yours now. I think we've got three or four people so far. Um, so make sure that you sign up for, or I guess this don't sign up yet. I should probably do that. But um, make sure you get your copy. Let me know if you got it in the comments and then we can all start on April 1 together. Okay, so make sure you do that. All right, last thing before we go for announcements, uh, if you have any other topics, thoughts, questions, or concerns, let me know in the comments and I can answer those this week. Unless there's another bank buyout or something, it seems like it's going to be a slow week. So help me help you by giving me some stuff to talk about to help y'all and explain it in a way that makes sense. As always, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and make sure that you join our members only. I'll be dropping in uh, two videos this week um, to help you become a better investor inside of our members only. So you get twice the value this week if you sign up. If you're already a member, then you'll see those videos come out this week. All right, that is it for me. I'll talk to you later.